Hey you, do you know about breast cancer? One in eight women develop breast cancer at some point in their lifetime. Age of diagnosis of breast cancer progressively increases beyond the age of 40, especially for women post-menopause. Important to understanding breast cancer is the structure of the breast. Knowing the different parts and functions can help you better grasp the specifics of breast cancer. The female breast is mostly made up of a collection of fat cells called adipose tissue. Embedded with the tissues of each breast are 15 to 20 lobes, which contain lobules. Lobules are the glands that produce milk. Connected to the lobules are the thin tube-like structures called milk ducts. No, not ducts, but ducts. These carry milk to the nipple. Also contained within the adipose tissue are branches of the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system, which is part of the immune system, helps distribute disease-fighting cells and fluids throughout the body. Similar to the blood vessels in the circulatory system, the lymphatic vessels serve as a network of transport for immune cells. Lymph nodes, a group of bean-shaped structures, are fixed in areas throughout the lymphatic system and act as filters by carrying abnormal cells away from healthy tissue. In cancer, the body cells multiply uncontrollably because the process of cell growth becomes unregulated, where new cells form when the body does not need them. Also, these cells do not easily die, as they are not recycled like normal cells. DNA controls cell growth, but when a healthy cell's DNA is altered or damaged, the cell becomes mutated. Mutated cells begin to grow abnormally, which results in cancer. A buildup of abnormal cells often forms a mass of tissue called a lump or a tumor. There are two types of tumors. Benign tumors, which do not spread to other parts of the body, and malignant tumors, which are aggressive as they can invade and damage surrounding tissue. There is also a hormone called estrogen, which can be made by fat cells in your body. If this binds to abnormal cells, the cancer can progress and grow. If the cancer starts in cells that line the ducts in the breast, this is called ductal carcinoma, which is the most common type. Whereas, if the cancer starts in cells of the lobules, it is called lobular carcinoma. Both can become malignant and spread to other parts of the breast or even to the lymph nodes, which allow the cancer to spread to other parts of the body, such as the lungs and the brain. There are five stages of breast cancer. In stage zero, the tumor has developed in the milk duct or lobule. In stage one, the tumor has developed to less than two centimeters across, but has not spread beyond the breast. In stage two, the tumor is at least three quarters of an inch can remain in the breast tissue or spread to a few lymph nodes. In stage three, the tumor is approximately two inches across and has spread to more lymph nodes in the armpit area. In stage four, the tumor has spread to other tissues and organs, including the lungs or bones. The survival rate declines as the stages progress. The earlier breast cancer is diagnosed and treated for, the higher the survival rate can be. Here are some things to be mindful of to help you detect breast cancer. Presence of a lump in the breast or armpit area is one of the classic symptoms of breast cancer. Some of the other commonly observed signs are swelling in the breast or armpit area, as well as ongoing breast tenderness or any unusual discomfort or breast pain. In regards to the nipple, any unusual clear or bloody discharge, pain, inversion, or the presence of scaly skin can be early detection signs. But don't worry, there are many things that you can do to reduce your risk of breast cancer. In fact, one in three cases can be avoided by taking preventative measures and maintaining a healthy lifestyle. For instance, maintaining a healthy weight is very important, especially post-menopause. Being overweight can result in high estrogen levels due to having excess fat cells. A reduced consumption of alcohol is another preventative action to lower the risk of breast cancer. Alcohol decreases the body's ability to break down estrogen, which in turn increases the risk of breast cancer. You should also avoid smoking, which has been linked with increased risk. Increasing physical activity has also been seen to lower estrogen levels as well as reducing tumor-promoting factors. For postmenopausal women, it is recommended to do 75 minutes of vigorous aerobic activity weekly. 
for all women above the age of 40, regardless of menopause occurrence, should at the very least go for annual screenings. Being proactive is the best possible step to ensuring survivability. Therefore, make informed decisions, have better dialogue with your doctor, and be aware of anything unusual 